And as the scriptures say, the Most High said he cursed and brought low some and turned out their places. I'm going to continue on reading in Ecclesiastes and Apocrypha, the 33rd verse, and I'm going to start at um, the 13th verse. It says, as the clay is in the potter's hand, okay, the Most High is like the fashioner and the maker. You ever sit a, a piece of clay, a clump of clay down and you mold it? The Most High is actually, he's comparing it to that because the Most High is the molder and he's the maker of everything. He says, as the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at its pleasure. The Most High said, a, a, a potter can fashion a piece of clay at its pleasure, just like the Most High. Basically, he's saying, he, I can mold and I can do whatever I want to do. So is so is is in the man is in the hand of man of him that made him. The Most High said, I can do whatever I want to do with man because I don't want to make him to render to render to them as like of him best. The Most High said, whoever I like best, that's who I like best. Fourteen. Good is set against evil, and this is what it all boils down to. Good is set against evil. That's what this whole earth is created about. You can't have good without evil. You can't have negative without positive. You can't have up without down. A lot of our people don't understand that. And this is, goes to show you, okay, these old uh, um, uh, pork rind eating uh, Christians in these churches, okay, when they say that the Heavenly Father is good all the time, this is what it boils down to, um, black man, black woman. It says good is set against evil. You can't have, it's too... It's, it, it, it's, you can't have one without the other That's what the Heavenly Father is saying He said good is set against evil And that's what this whole society is all about The so-called white man according to the Bible Was created to, pay, to play the negative part on this earth And he is created to play The physical counterpart In the children of Satan That's the reason why they're actually Everything this government stands for And white America stands for Is adverse and contrary to this Bible right here You don't gotta Google nothing Just look at your news Okay, just look at the way they conduct themselves. Look at what they uphold in the society. You'll know that it's actually contrary to everything that's written in this Bible. Okay, so the Most High said, good against evil. Okay, good is set against evil. Okay, he's a negative part. He's a negative person on this earth. Everything that he does and everything that he conjures up, Satan conjures up for evil. Okay, he puts it in a certain nation of people's minds, which so happen to be the European race, the Caucasians, the Edomites, okay, the people that lived in Idumea, the Caucasians, the cave dwellers. It says, and life against death, okay, life, you hear, and death, okay, that's two extremes. It says, so is the godly against the sinner. The godly is against the sinner, okay? Just like the Most High said, a sinner don't have no business with a godly person. It's two, of the, it's two extremes. You can't have one without the other. It says, and the sinner against the godly. It says, so look upon all the works of the Most High. Look upon all the works of the Most High, the trees, people, the animals, the sea, the sky, the sun, everything. The Most High said, look upon the works of the Most High, and there are two and two, one against the other. Racism. That's inevitably that's going to happen. The Most High said you can't have one without the other. That's the reason why when the so-called white man makes these movies out here, that's the reason why he always have what? The good guy against the bad guy. He always have the villain Okay, against the good person. It's negative against positive. That's just the way it works. We're now living in the time of a negative society. The so-called white man and children, they are the children of Satan. Okay, that's the reason why this society dwells so much in negative. That's the reason why the society dwells and is for long gone. Because every day when you see things that are going against the Bible, that's actually sacrificing to Satan. Okay, when you see people getting killed by eating bad pork, or people getting killed by plane crashes, anything that doesn't have anything that's conducive to this Bible, that's giving power to Satan, homosexuality. Okay, things that's out here like killing off all the wrong animals, killing off all the wrong trees. There's a certain group and there's a certain amount of trees that you're supposed to kill every year. The so-called white man just kills every damn thing. That's giving more power to Satan, okay? Now, I'm going to jump, uh, as a result of our integration, okay, with these nations, this is exactly what happened. And the Most High knows, and the Most High knows us better than anybody. I'm going to read the book of 1 Maccabees 1 and 23. Listen up to this one real good. As a result of us mingling with these nations into integration, okay, this is exactly what happened. 1 Maccabees 1 and 23, okay? The Most High said this. He took up, talking about the Europeans and the nations that robbed us, he took up the silver and the gold. They robbed us, not only North American Indians, but they also robbed King Solomon's temples as well, too. And the precious vessels. 
Also, he took the hidden treasures which he found. All the things that we try to hide from the so-called white man, okay, he found them. That's why during the time of the slave trade, and when Columbus came over to the Indians, they were slicing open the women's stomachs, okay, because they knew that the Indians had rather swallowed their gold and their jewelry, okay, because they knew that this bastard was coming to take them. So they would swallow them, okay, in order to hide them from the so-called white man. And during the time of slavery, it was a ritual and a practice, okay, that the Israelites that the servants of the Heavenly Father and the Israelites, the nation of Israel, used to swallow their gold and their diamonds, okay, just so nobody else would have it. That's the reason why most of the time they used to slit the people's stomachs open to try to get the damn jewelry and gold out. I tell you, that's in history too. And it says, and we, and when we had, and when he had taken all away, he went into his own land, having made a great massacre, North American Indians, the great slave trade, okay, over here. And it says, and spoken. Very proudly. This man speaks very proudly of the negative things that he do all the time. During the time of the slave trade, when the slaves was coming over here on the slave ships, it says that the shark population tripled. You want to know why? Because they were throwing over slaves overboard over the ships and feeding the sharks. That's the reason why to today they call the sharks man eaters. Okay, and that's the reason why they became cannibals. They said that when you read upon when you read upon the different ships in the time period during the time of slavery. It tells you that the sharks used to follow. It used to be thousands and thousands of feeding pools of sharks. They used to follow the slave ships just for a freeing frenzy. Okay, because why? Because the so-called white man used to throw slaves overboard. Okay, some of them alive, some of them dead. But for the most part, that was a torture tactic and a scare tactic to show the other slaves to put fear in us. Okay, so we can serve this man at a better rate. It says, um, therefore, he was... It says, therefore... There was a great mourning in Israel. Therefore, there was a great mourning in Israel because we are mourning because of the things that happened to us. And every place where they were, every place we went in captivity, we always mourned because we was in the hands of the so-called of our enemies. Like the Heavenly Father said, that was going to be part of the curse. Okay, we was going to go in the hands of our enemy as slaves. So every captivity that we went, even here in America, okay, it says that we are mourning. It says so. It says, I'm gonna read it again. Therefore, there was a great mourning in Israel, in every place they in every place where they were, so that the prince, that the prince, sis, the prince, okay, meaning the males and the elders mourn. Okay, we still mourn in this damn hell that we going through this captivity upon our damn enemies. This is an unlawful, this is a wicked society, man. They thrive on wickedness and they thrive on negative, okay? And our people are right up along with the so-called white man and right up along with our enemies doing the same damn thing, okay? We this is more than man. When you don't when you're not up under your proper government and when you're not up under your proper laws and statutes and righteousness, you're supposed to be mad as hell, man. Okay? The white man tells you, the Heavenly Father tells you in the book of Leviticus, the eleventh chapter, he gives you the laws on what to eat and what not to eat. You go in a supermarket and they got frozen squirrel or frozen turtle. Okay, in there for you to eat, or a rabbit in there for you to eat. When the Heavenly Father said, don't eat those things. You're supposed to be mad as hell at the sight of the wickedness that goes on. Your enemies are up over you, but it's not going to be that way for long. It says, therefore, there was a great mourning in Israel in every place where they were, so that the prince and the elders mourned. Okay, we, we mourn it. Okay, and it says, the virgins and the young men were made feeble. We made a feeble sight, man, today, man. Okay, no way are we on the length, or, 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 or on the length, okay, of how our forefathers was in the past, Solomon and David and Samson, okay? That's what a true leader does, okay? A true leader fights up against the society and fights in righteousness according to the Bible. That's the reason why they crucified Christ, because why? Because he was against the society. That's the reason why they crucified him. Okay, because, okay, other than the obvious, okay, why he got crucified, because he had to come down here and do a job. But a true leader fights for the injustices of their people, according to the Bible. We're not made on the level uh, of our forefathers, man. Okay, that's the reason why the Most High said the young men were made feeble, man. A lot of these old young black, uh, 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 young men out here today, man, they see a leaf blowing in their, their shape. Our enemy come behind you, you run, and you'll shake like a punk, man. A lot of you so-called uh, uh, black men and black women out there, you don't even have the you don't you don't even have it in you to look the damn white man square dead in his face when he walked past you, man. 
That's the reason why you, that's, I'm telling you, you Negroes are like slaves, man. Try looking a so-called white man in his face when you go to work tomorrow. Look him square dead in his eye. The average black man is not going to do that. You know why? Because the most I said, young men were made feeble. You're like punks now, man. Okay? Whatever masses say, whatever masses say, and what the masses do, okay, goes. That's how you so-called Negroes, Western and Puerto Ricans are, okay? You have come down to a low state and a low level, okay, through what? Through your enemies have made sure that way. Black man is a punk today, man. The hell you gonna walk around with your damn pants off your damn stinking behind, okay, showing your damn butt, man. Okay, that's a damn disgrace. You got our forefathers like Moses and David and Malcolm X and all them guys. Man, you think they died just so a black man can walk around in the ghetto, okay, with his pants off his behind or get on TV wearing damn heels? You got Negro men now on TV wearing damn heels and damn lipstick and lip gloss and, and talking with their voices uh, 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 higher than a damn woman, man. That's a damn disgrace.